Press enter. Do it. I just noticed that he kind of nods his head as you stare at him. He's a slightly <laughs> animated bird friend. You, you gonna push the button, bro? Let's do it. Get started? So you may remember that I was saying something about how uh, the sorceress was kind of metal. Dingo, I want to see if you could pick out why I said that. Don't worry. I gave you a very subtle hint. All the spikes. Look at that. She She's throwing the horns! Nice. Constantly. <laughs> In fact, that's how she shoots her spells out, throwing the devil horns. Nice. Uh... I noticed that was climbing the ladder, and it was the coolest thing ever. Also, say goodbye to Master Puppets. It was only here for a small while, but there's a uh, there's a copyright strike on the channel. Well, I'm not monetizing it, so I'm hoping I'll get away with it. It's okay when you see people watch these videos right. anyway. So here's a staff I didn't really show off. The ice staff is basically a machine gun. And if you can hit in the head, it's really devastating. Uh, oh, what the? Oh yeah, these guys are little bastards, and they jump all over. You remember them from uh, the sewers, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're all over. Oh yeah, we talked about this. I wondered if they were, if they were like pets or something. Yep. Um. So, do you remember? Uh. We met a goblin before who had something to tell us. By the way, here's the one that was on the ship. Yeah. What did he say? Uh, his brother. Something about his brother. Something about his brother and uh, something else. In fact. But yeah, that that Lil Indiana Jones thing is fun. If you run at the other door, he tells you that's the wrong one. Trouble to mansion of dreams. This is that dude's cousin. I love. That's one of my favorite little details in this game. Is that because you don't even have to listen to that other goblin? He just sort of gives you a slight hint as to where his goal is. Uh, I noticed the cursor was turning red when he was aimed at him. Does that mean you can actually hurt him? Yeah. Red it means that uh, you are, it's on the target that you can damage at the moment. Oh, I don't know, I don't think we can damage him. He's also going to have a little problem with his pathing AI and just do some weird stuff. Don't mind him. Stories our lives. Yeah, so, you may remember this was uh, Zorana's house. We fought her in her demon form. Uh, her house is now full of specters, it sucks. This is giving me a, uh, this is giving me deep vibes. You know, it kind of, I get that. Also, you may notice our goblin friend there helping out. He has never done that before to me. He's never come inside the house. <laughs> I don't know what he knew he was inspired be, him he knew to he was this be on the time. Internet. But yeah. Like, this is my chance. This is my chance to be an internet hero. He's now getting in the way of the stairs. He's a little show-stealing asshole. Also, some wonderful art. Probably painted by Zorana, I'm assuming. Of herself, maybe. Before she turned into a giant 90 foot tall demon. Uh, this also. It's weird, but the end of the level isn't here. This is just sort of a semi sidetrack. That key is all we needed. The rest of this is sort of. It's out of the way, which means most of the golden level is going to be here. Because, you know, of enclave. Course. Also, oh, these motherfuckers go. I tried to knock them off the cliff, but it didn't go so well. Is that your shield? Oh, uh, yeah, that's your staff slam. So if you put up a shield and then hold down attack, you uh, do a staff slam. Not every uh, staff has them, but most do. That one seems pretty useful. It's really good. It hits several times. It does more damage the closer they are to the center. Oh. What's that? A map. Tollfors. Tollfors. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's a Swedish name, which is why it's hard to pronounce. Welcome to Tollfors. Uh, we will be going there because that is our next mini game. Nice. Is 
Serrano's got a really nice house. Dude, she's got a huge library, which is actually something I've always wanted. Like, a huge library annex like that? That's awesome. You can always tell. Like, there's a direct correlation between how important the person is and how much of a library they have. Direct correlation. Well, we are here for a book, so it only makes sense. I mean, think about it. Like, the President of the United States, what does he have? Presidential library. library. Yeah. Very important person. Me? I have like, a bookshelf. Ah, that must mean I'm more important than you. I have three bookshelves. Of course you're more important. This is your LP. Aha! Come on, man. Now it all makes sense. Also, you can listen. He, the voice line still triggers of him yelling at you in Swedish to go the other way. Uh, if you don't go there on your first <laughs> run. Because they just left that trigger there. So the... The orchid or whatever, the goblin, whatever, abyssal, whatever language they speak, like, it's, it's literally just Swedish. Apparently it's just Swedish, or so I have wikied. Huh. Uh, yeah, here's the other place that you have absolutely no need to go in this level that's also got almost all of the money. This place is very nice, but laid out, um... It's gotta, a difficult it's gotta be a real, Bother. it's gotta be a real pain to like, man, I want to stare at my weird, dark portrait of the Black Castle of Orthanc, uh, but I also want to have coffee, so you gotta like, run upstairs, make your coffee, run back downstairs, by the time you got down here, it's definitely cold. I still haven't seen a bathroom yet. Uh, I don't know that there is a bathroom here. Uh, well, we may see... Uh, Zerana may be more, may be more direct uh, about her waste disposal. But doesn't she also have the ability to, uh, uh, the ability to uh no, that's Mordessa. Mordessa is the one oh, we work Mordessa. for. Zerana is the one who turned into the demon we fought uh, as Zale. Uh. Sorry. Interchangeable goth sorceress names, I know. All of these names are really odd to pronounce. I don't know, Mordessa seems pretty standard for uh, well, a yeah, okay. demon that summoning one, sorceress. And Zale is a right. Zale's, Zale's a very wizard and like jewelry store, I guess. I was gonna say maybe the key is in the in the good timeline, Zale stops fighting wars and goes on to uh own a jewelry store. My selection is magic. We should, we should probably hire you as a PR person. By the way, yeah. Uh, definitely. Uh, they have a way better staff than we do right now. That fireball staff hurts, if you remember. It was pretty near the last one we got for the wizard. So I'm just going to try and trap him back there and uh, kill him from the distance. I'm sure it would be nice if you had, like, grenades, bombs, and you know, just chuck them around the corner. Right. Nope, we have the, uh... The staff we can't afford right now bounces around corners. I actually remember, you see, I remember I have a block button eventually. You start shielding his- <laughs> Oh yeah, that thing. Shielding his spells, but then you sort of run out of use to shoot you. So it seems like in this game it usually is better to play defensively than strictly offensively. Would you say that's true? Well, I would if, uh, the, if the Huntress slash Assassin didn't exist. Um, it's certainly, I mean, it's always safer to play defensively, but, uh, there are rewards for high levels of offense for certain. Oh, what was that book back there? That looked like a very important book. It was a fake book. This is the real important book. Oh. Remember the one with all the cool skulls on it? Oh, yeah, the cool Facebook. <gasps> we found Facebook! We f oh, we no, we found Facebook. Mordessa is actually Mark Zuckerberg. Now it all makes sense? <laughs> I guess? Truly, truly, we are in the darkest of times. Right. Well. Tolfors. To Tolfors. And let's, uh, I guess, murder people in their quaint little village. Well, we are dark. The darkest. Uh, but I think it's time for a little bit of an upgrade, so. Armor time. Yeah, it is. 
spikes? Rust and rust feathers? and spikes. Uh, she's always had the feathers, but she's got like a rusty steel body plate on and more spikes. And her gauntlets got nice. bigger. She's still throwing the still horns. Still doing though. the devil horns, yeah, man. Again, she climbs ladders with the devil horn. She shoots with the devil horn. Uh, maybe she's a Texas A&M. <laughs> maybe, maybe I misread it. Maybe she hates metal and, in fact, really likes the long horns. Yeah, hook 'em horns. Let's do it. I choose to think she really just likes uh, Ronnie James Dio. Look, you're you're being really narrow-minded. You can easily be all of the above. Uh, right. Like she's, you can mean multiple things. She's a big fan of Dio and the Longhorns. And occasionally heavy metal. Well, I mean, Dio is metal. Man, that person... I, I gotta give him props for tenacity. Yeah. Not so much on intelligence. The halflings, uh, I mean, no AI in this game is great, but the halflings are fairly weak physically, pretty fast... Uh, and they will just dead on charge your assault. Uh, would like oh, use cover money hop or something. Nope. The AI is not that good. Yeah. Uh, That's a shame. They do. Did you ever play uh, Star Wars Battlefront? Not the new one. The old. Any of the old two? Yeah. Remember how the AI was really good at dodging sniper shots? That's kind of the uh -huh. best they get, is they just understand because they can cheat that you're about to shoot them and they start swaying. They'll do that. Oh, so annoying. It was the worst. This one's got a lot of armor on it, trying to make it really personal. It's a pretty boss sword. Uh, that's an axe. Oh, is it an axe? Oh, it is. Yep, the half I'm sorry, I have mine. I have mine small. Ah. Because I'm a four. The halflings all wield axes. That was a huntress we just horribly shot down. What is she doing here? This is a halfling village. Uh, I thought. No, it's just, um, much like in uh, the light campaign, they send a lot of goblins at you because they're pretty weak, but annoying. Halfling is the cannon fodder for the dark campaign. Or Got at it. least when they're trying to take it easy on you, the halfling is. Well, that was, uh, that was easy. Let's go for medium, and I think we should switch it up. What do you say we take our new friend for a spin? Now, he is analogous to the engineer, right? No, he's, in like fact, the, the halfling. Oh, he's just the half. Uh, he's the half, yep. We've got a big, dumb breastplate that is so much bigger than our torso. Well, yeah. Like, he is swimming in that thing. Either way, it's time. Bigger armor, more places for them to miss. And, Makes sense. And more places to put spikes on it, I guess. Or a giant skull yeah, effigy hammered into the front. <laughs> Look, they may not know much, but they know stop. Right? Again. I kind of wish that with all the spikes and stuff, you just run into them and causes damage. Uh, that would make the highest level goblin the best character to play, because you would just sprint and jump at people and cannonball to death. Uh, which I now really want to do. Cannonball! Berserker Barrage! <laughs> ah, if only. Well, we, we are short and angry, so that's pretty close. We're two-thirds of the way to Wolverine. Instead of axes, I wish they would have given him like a guitar or claws or something. Like that. I weapon variety in general, general in this game would have been nice instead of just having three types. I mean, they've got uh, yeah, they've got different types, or you know, they've only got the three major types, but they have some pretty good. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, variety within those types. Right. I mean, how many different sorts of the. Oh, there's a bunch of different models. It's just none of them do anything different except for, I will say, a longer sword does reach longer, and that's, uh, man, is that really important. They took the time. Yeah, they, they took the time to model the hitboxes, exactly, which is nice. Uh, so, around the time, pretty soon I get a little overconfident, and uh, you'll see the real downside of playing uh, the goblin and not having a real amazing uh, axe. 
Are you about to take like 16 sniper shots? No, actually, I'm safe from that because this round shield is huge and will block most of my hitbox. It's it's the saving grace. That would have been dead. Yep. Like I said, the round shield is actually really good. It's big. Is it as helpful as a scooter? Uh, nothing is important to me as my scooter. It's this guy. Yeah. This guy, uh you know. Yeah. It's something that's been happening as I've been playing more. I'm like, ah, uh, you know, I could stay back and hide him. But I really feel like finishing this up close, you know, mano a mano, <laughs> goblin uh, crusader. I've got all of my blood. I don't need all of it. I mean, come on. I can totally do this. And then I'm like, wait, is he wielding Eric's Bane? I think he's wielding Eric's Bane. That's a big sword. I'm just going to be... Mistakes were made. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> 200 hit. Good lord. That's where I'm like, uh, you know... Honorable combat melee? Maybe yeah. I'll it's cracked up to me. I traded a few more blows and was like, that's that's too close. That's way too close. I'm out. Fuck it. <laughs> and so then he put an arrow in his spleen. That, that's, that's a good way to do it. The heroic way to fight them. Give them a festering wound. Make it dank. A, fed, a fetid wound. A dank, fetid wound. <laughs> Sorry, Thread. Uh, jokes that have it off screen. Uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the uh, welcome to the jelly dungeon. Right. Uh, yeah, so she Back gets she just gets a breastplate and gauntlets. Um, figured I would upgrade what I can on her, but she's almost maxed out. That's all we were missing is up to 120 fire arrows. Everything else, it turns nice. out, we already had. Despite my furious attempts to find something else to spend money on. So let's kick it. Let's finish this off uh, with Old Faithful, uh, which is grenade arrows, really. <laughs> Anything explosive. Mostly, mostly the arrows, though, because like we have yet to find a foe that can withstand grenade arrows. Hello, knock knock, Avon calling. Uh, they do start out a little smarter in that I don't think that they will leave that little area until you trigger them. So if you're playing a ranged character, they want you to engage. But... So now I'm interested to know if this reality has multi-level marketing. <laughs> it's okay, we got armor. My one weakness, my lack of shield. Right. We got armor, and I can beat them at their own game. Again, you can see, I'm a, I got a little cocky. Oh, oh I missed. Whiff. That's that better. Time. Good grief. Ah. Ankle theory. It's, honestly, I do that a lot with, um... I think Wolfenstein Enemy Territory trained me never to shoot directly at your body with a rocket launcher because you can dodge the rocket, but good luck dodging the explosion. It's yeah, uh, that happens. In, that happens when I play TF2 as well. Uh, oh, so no. things got a little dicey here as he got trapped between a wizard, a halfling, and a knight. But it's okay. Believe in me. I have the power of running away and chugging health potions at the same time. <laughs> I have the power of speed and Kool-Aid. Also doors. They're not great with doors. Make them go through as many doors as possible, and the game is yours. My one weakness. Also try to get them to yeah. walk into your grenade arrows. That's a, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good strategy. Uh, so you may notice that I kind of get thrown off by their lightning attacks, and that's because, similar to actual lightning, it does most of its traveling away from the point of contact, not towards it. So I will see the lightning bolt streak one direction and then look the way it came from and totally look the wrong way. It's kind of embarrassing. I got him though. Is this the first time that we've really seen the electric attacks? I don't remember seeing many of the electric I uh, no they don't really use it as much it's definitely a light side wizard weapon um, I oh, man now they're throwing a 
Uh, What's that about? That's the psychic psionic dominator. It's homing and it's a pain. And if he hadn't died, I was about to. Yeah, and that's all for part one of the three-part Mansion of Dreams update. Check back soon as we go see uh, what grabbing that nice shiny book full of faces got us. It's probably you can't really bring nice. Yourself to say Facebook, can you? Uh, no, I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> Good, because then I think we owe Mark Zuckerberg money. 420 plays it. Also, screws Mark Zuckerberg. That's what I have to say about that. Not like literally, but you know. You know Figuratively. You know. I'll say this. Uh, I find him distasteful. Him so yeah, join us next time where we'll be tackling The Guardian uh, and not the newspaper, because I don't have the manpower for that. Was it? joke about British newspapers. Time to stop audacity. <laughs>